this week, it's all about the fade. So we have a new client, brand new Jeep Wagoneer, but this build's a little different than the regular ones. She wants a complete paint job with two colors faded together and the interior to be redone to get rid of the orange stitching. It's coming straight from the dealership to us. In the meantime, I'm gonna sit with Musa, go over the rendering, make sure we're ready to go when it arrives. Okay, Musa. What's up? We're going back, way back in time. Actually, further back in time than when this company started. Dang. Back in the 80s when um, fade paint jobs were a thing. Did you warm up the DeLorean? Yes. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good a idea, good actually. Idea. Back Love in it. my days, when we used to build mini trucks, fade paint jobs were in. You know, oh, people wow. like, you know, like that style. So we have a client that has okay. a Wagoneer that has two favorite colors. So Sapphire Blue Jeep. Oh. So that nice. color and then Miami Blue. Miami Blue. So there's like this so tealish that, blue kind of? Yeah. So she has a specific blue, but mm -hmm. I think if we can get the fade figured out first, then we can like lock in the Like where we position it and stuff? Okay. Fade. I think it should go sideways, like a sideways fade. Mm -hmm. But let's show her a couple different ones. Okay. So what's the interior gonna be? So the interior is black leather with orange stitching. She doesn't want the orange stitching anymore. Creatively, we gotta come up with a way to get rid of the orange stitching. Maybe we can dye it. Maybe there's a way to do it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We've never really had this situation. Other than that, it's a pretty simple build. Access denied. Nothing's ever simple. <laughs> no, though, it's right? never simple. Yeah, it's uh -uh. like don't even a say full that paint word. job <laughs> that's faded, which means you got to take the whole, all the doors off. You got to take everything off, fade it, put it back together, and fade it again. And gloss finish, I'm guessing, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got your work cut out for you. Yeah. one. I got my work faded <laughs> out for me. Yes, fade it out. <laughs> Render's done and approved. Now it's time to get the Jeep in, broken down, so it can go over to paint. So this paint job is a little different than the normal ones we do in the shop. It's actually two colors specific that she wants. So I'm gonna bring in Rhino. He's our painter when it comes to any of these specialty airbrush paint jobs that, that are just a little outside of the box. Hey, what's up? I'm Rhino, custom painter for about 30 years. Been working with West Coast Customs for about 20. In the meantime, we'll get the guys to take out the interior so we can start on that side. Okay, we got all the chrome pulled off of this Jeep. Uh, what we gotta do first is sand this with 80 grit, and then after that we're gonna epoxy prime it, then hit it with a single stage black to turn this chrome into jet black. Okay, we got the Jeep all blown apart, and now it's time to get this thing prepped. We're gonna sand this thing with 400 grit, then we're gonna put it in the booth, prep everything, then we'll get it into white sealer, and then we're gonna throw down a white blue base.
Now that we got the whole Jeep in a light blue base, we're gonna put the doors back on the car and we're gonna get ready for the fade. Once we get the fade established, we'll have the back part dark blue, front part light blue. The interior on this build should be really simple, but like in this world, nothing's ever simple. So she got this truck, the interior is beautiful. The only issue is has orange stitching. She doesn't want orange stitching, she wants it to be black. So I'm hoping there's a solution on maybe dyeing it, figuring out a way to do something where we don't have to redo the entire interior. Edwin, how are you doing? Good, good. Uh, we have a problem. What is it? We need to make this one new one. So you can't stitch into the same holes? No, it's not possible. We need to make everything new. That's a lot of pieces, because it's like a hundred and something pieces. Yeah, that's true. Because we can- you can't, we you can can't dye it? No, it's not possible. So we have to basically get new leather and stitch everything yes, again. Yes, we need to make everything new. Yikes. Something like this. car's out of paint, now it's time to really get the shine on it. So we're gonna color sand and buff this thing like we've never done before. After that, we're gonna reassemble it and then it'll be ready for the reveal. And right now we're in the middle of doing the color sand and buffing process. I got a fender right here that's still being cut. I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's been polished in a bit. Okay, the Wagoneer is done and it's ready to be delivered. I mean, this truck, they're already amazing, but I think the paint really speaks for itself. The paint was where this one challenged the guys a little bit, but I think ultimately it turned out amazing with the black trim, the aggressive wheels. Can't wait to see what the customer thinks.